today has been full of excitement and a bit of disappointment. Um, I opened the kiln this morning and I was really looking forward to seeing these pots. Um, I've been struggling to get the colour right. Um, I've been mixing up different bits and bobs and pestering people. And I've finally got the colour I like, but a lot of the pots are overfired and they've bloated. Um, yeah, I'm just in two minds about what to do with them. Um, if you've never heard of bloating, it's when the gases don't escape out of the clay when it's being fired, and instead they build up and make bubbles, pretty much. Um, some of the ones that were in the bottom of the kiln are really, really bad, and the ones that were a bit close to the top got the odd bit, but not too much. Um, I'll try and show you what it looks like. It's really disappointing after all this work that I've put in. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that. But you see how you can see little bubbles here and there? They look like air bubbles. They're just bubbles that were full of gas and sometimes when you over fire pots, um, that will happen. Like these are on the edge of being starting to melt or bubbling anyway. I knew I was pushing it a bit much, but I wanted this nice dark colour. Um, yeah, they're still perfectly good, but aesthetically, where I've got this nice pattern, you can see a bubble there. Probably can't see it in this light. Um, but yeah, really disappointed, but still a little bit excited that I've got the right colour. Um, I made some wee test tiles up. Some are 50-50 mix, one's 75-25. I actually like that colour, whereas this is quite dark brown black. That's sort of a bit, that's 50-50 of a couple of different clays. But yeah, she um, kind of overfired just a little bit much. So there's four or five of these that are still pretty good. They might have the odd wee bit in them. Looks like a, a bubble. But I think for here in New Zealand, um, they'll be perfectly fine. But the, the outside of that one is perfectly good. Look, it's got that nice ring to them. Yeah, so I've spent the day sort of being happy and annoyed at the same time. There's so much work goes into these. But that'll teach me. Don't push the limits. There's one of these that's really, really bad. I don't know if you can see that. See there? You've got a bubble. But I mean, these were right on the verge. If these absorb water, um, there's something wrong. So, yeah. Bit of a lesson to be had. And with my old kiln, I don't have a controller, so I can't regulate the temperature. And obviously, I think the bottom got a heck of a lot hotter than what these say that did, because this is on the top. But I mean, you've always got to experiment with things. Um, so yeah, I'll put some of these on my blog later tonight. The four or five that are okay. But I may just... Um, oh look, with every pot of order of two or three or more, I might just throw one of these in. I, I'm not a perfectionist although some people say I am, but I just, I don't know too much about bloating and how it affects the, affects the structure of them. Um, it's never happened before. I mean, you can't say these are too thick because these are fairly finely made. Um, yeah, so that's, that's been my day so far, up and down. But I'll keep 
getting at it and playing around with things and annoying people to find out more info. And um, yeah, never give up. Just keep trying. I had a battle a few years ago with um, cracking, but that's pretty much gone. And now, bloating. It's just something I've never come across. So the next lot I do, I'm not going to give up on this clay mix. Um, I'll make sure that the firing is really slow. Even if I have to fire them in someone else's kiln, it's a bit, that's got a controller and I can keep an eye on the rate of the temperature going up and down. And hopefully that will solve the problem. But I have my suspicions it may be something in the clay that is just a bit different from what I've normally been using. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. Thank you.